Hello, welcome to Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we're reviewing uh, the first episode of the Netflix TV show, Wu Assassins. Um, this episode was directed by Stephen Fung. Let me just double check something. <laughs> yeah, I just had to double check the really stupid name for this episode, <laughs> which is called Drunken Watermelon. Um, so what this uh, TV show is about? I I had heard this was supposed to be a superhero TV show, starring um, UK U, sorry Yuko Iwais from the Raid movies, right? Who's an Indonesian. Actor, he plays Kai Jin, who's this chef working in Chinatown in San Francisco. Uh, what happens is he gets he's the son of uh, the triad uh, triad b- boss, which is the triad is like the Chinese mafia, if you didn't know, that runs uh, San Francisco, who's played by Brian Man, who uh, Brian Man, yeah, uh, that's his that's his name. That sounds man, man with two N's, eh? <laughs> is he like, is he Chinese Jewish or something? <laughs> oh, the line we're at the bank was so long today. <laughs> Sorry, that's a come town bit. Um, yeah, he put, he plays Uncle Six. So what happens in this uh, TV show is uh, our main character gets in trouble with the local triads when when he cooked a dish that accidentally had peanuts in it and the guy had a peanut allergy uh guys should probably know not to put peanuts in (laughs) in like uh food because you know a lot of people have peanut allergies (laughs) but whatever right so this pisses off the triads um they send guys to kill him as that as that is going on, he discovers that he is the Wu Assassin who has the monk piece. The monk piece is this talisman that has the power of a thousand monks. And he's te- uh, told by this uh, Wu Xia like, chick. Wu Xia being like Chinese fantasy bullshit. Uh, this Wu Xia chick that uh, she ha- that he has to go and kill this, the five warlords, right? And the wa- five warlords are these guys with that have the powers of the different uh chinese elements which is fire water wood metal and i think air i'm not 100 percent sure on that (laughs) yes and uh at the end of the episode we find out his dad is one of the one of the um, elements right which is um fire (laughs) yeah so this uh also like the there, there's this chick who's very stupid. Who's played by Catherine Winnick. I think she's the chick from Vikings. Yeah, she is the Vikings uh, chick from Vikings. Who's trying to infiltrate one of the gangs, uh, triad gangs. Who's like she's a cop. She's trying to infiltrate the gangs because the the triads are gaining like. Um, going to get into like a turf war with the Russian mafia she speaks Russian but for some reason she tries to join the triads gang <laughs> for whatever reason and she's really good at like stealing cars right I don't know so I don't know the story is a little retarded in my opinion <laughs> but like you know we don't want we don't, we're not watching this for the story we're watching it for the action scenes right so I would say what action scenes there are it are good and but here's the problem the, the the fight choreography is great but the problem is the per, the people shooting the action scene is very like it's very like plain it's there's no like cool quick cuts you know stuff like that that we're used to from watching indonesian action movies like you know the raid movies headshot 2016 headshot 2018 the night comes for us which is what i uh my new channel uh pick uh avatar picture is from the poster for um the night comes for us which if you haven't seen that netflix indonesian action movie check it out it's a really great movie um yeah i i don't know 
the action scenes, the fight choreography was great. How they shot it was kind of plain boring. Um, and there's like really shitty music choices. <laughs> like a lot of pop songs, a lot of like, you know, um, like shitty, like shitty music. Okay. <laughs> I can't even remember. Um, yeah. So like, I don't know. Like the acting was okay. You, Yuko Uwais's English is a, a lot better here than in like other movies where I've seen him do English. Uh, speak English, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there's the whole thing where like uh, he's like, um, they explain like, oh, he, the reason why you have this Indonesian actor playing like this Chinese guy is like, uh, he, they explain, oh, he, his mother was Indonesian, right? But, he, <laughs> right. Which I don't know why they have to have him be like the, the, the triad's like son. I don't know. Triad, triad boss's son. Like, could they have not written like a role for, for an Indonesian act, uh, Asian, Asian <laughs> sorry, Indonesian like actor? Like, cause it's just, it comes off kind of dumb. Like, oh. This, this random, like, triad, uh, guy from, from San Francisco just happened to, um, marry, like, an Asian, an Indonesian woman? Like, okay, that's, that seems a little weird to me. But whatever, right? I don't know, dude. Like, it, I'm, I might, if we get decent enough views on this, uh, video, I might continue watching the show, but I kind of have no interest uh though we did get a cameo from mark decal uh, uh <laughs> which is uh the star of one of my favorite anime live action movies crying freeman <laughs> which uh fun fact the guys who worked on the crying freeman manga also did lone wolf and cub <laughs> which was the which was um the footage that they took fr from the, sorry, that the Shogun Assassin movie took the footage from, was from the Lone Wolf and Cub movies. If you ever heard of Shogun Assassins, which if you ever seen Kill Bill, you probably have heard of Shogun Assassin. But if you have, it's a, it's a cool samurai movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I if I were to rate this, I would give it like a six out of ten. The CGI was shitty. The characters so like the fact that you had this Chinese uh, the a white chick trying to like join like an Asian gang and like at the en end of the episode the guy seems impressed by her it's like are you retarded you're just gonna let a random fucking woman join your fucking gang are you retarded it's like come on you have to be smarter than that but yeah I don't know it's like a 6 out of 10 later guys